It looks like Coach Spaggs has got the Rams heading in the right direction. And hopefully Bradford can lead the Rams back to the promised land. Well, after his trade to the Cardinals in 1964, this man led the St. Louis Cardinals to three World Series and a trip to Cooperstown. So now it's time for our Inside Sports Flashback. been a one-man show in St. Louis for years. Lewis Clark Brock is one of the most electrifying Cardinals ever to don the birds on bag. You, yourself, and how you feel about yourself is probably the most important factor. Cards GM Bing Devine always had interest in Brock, and at the 1964 trading deadline, pulled off the biggest deal in Cardinal history, sending 18-game winner Ernie Broglio to the Cubs for the fleet-footed outfielder. Devine was fired shortly after the trade, but Brock became the team's catalyst and thrust the Cardinals into the 1964 World Series championship over the Yankees. Another win in 67 versus the Boston Red Sox and a seven-game loss in 1968 to the Detroit Tigers. Lou Brock of the Cardinals. Lines a single to left center field. Brock was selected to six All-Star games where he compiled a 375 batting average and aggravated opposing All-Stars with his base running theatrics. In his 16 years with the Cardinals, Brock saw the game transform from the early 1960s through the counterculture of the 70s, playing with a variety of stars and personalities. He even became an entrepreneur along the way, helping to market the Brock umbrella. In 1974, Brock began to separate himself from the other stars of the game. He is going! The pitch is a strike! The throw! He is there! He did it! 105 for Lou Brock! Brock ended up with 118 steals for the year, and in 1979 passed Ty Cobb for the all-time record. An occasion like this goes beyond the momentary thrills of the game. It involves a lifetime of skill and effort. It's not been an easy thing, but, but the moment is here. Brock also reached 3,000 career hits in 1979 and retired at season's end. In 1985, Lewis Clark Brock was enshrined into the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. 